Smartboard Revolution presents What's New in Notebook 14. And as always, I'm your host, Matt Granger. So you may have noticed the text changing automatically. In previous versions of Notebook, you have to write the text, select it, go to the drop-down menu. But this changed automatically, and that's because of the new text pen in Smart Notebook 14. So we're going to take a look at how it works at this point. And this is May 2014. And this will always be evolving and changing, so make sure that you're watching the latest version of this video. But as of May 2014, this is how the text pen works. So to use the text pen, you're going to pick up one of your pens. It doesn't matter the kind of board that you're going to have. You're going to go up into the toolbar and select the pen. All your choices are here. And right here in the middle, the new one is the text pen. So we select that. You can select your color. It doesn't matter what color pen you have. For example, I have the blue pen picked up, but when I come up here to my text pen, it's always black. Now that may change in the future, but that's what happens. So I have the blue pen in my hand, but right now if I use the text pen, it will create black text. So if you want a different color, you have to select that color up here. And then you're going to write your text. You wait about three seconds. It recognizes it and lets you select it. If you don't hit the check mark after another few seconds, it will automatically change it. Now you'll notice I can write really big text, but that's not going to matter. It's always going to go down to about a size 26. That's how the text pen works. Now one thing that I have noticed is that you can't change the text color later with the text pen. If I wanted to change this word and make it red, it doesn't do it. The text color that's already there using the text pen at least you can't change the text color so that might be something that we want to ask smart to allow us to do in the future and we'll talk about that in a little bit let's take a look quickly at the editing options pick up the pen go to the text pen select the color that i want to use so you use a caret to add text a strike through to delete text. You can circle a word or a letter to change that word or letter and use a vertical line to add a space. Missed the O, so I can circle it. I'm going to get an input box. I write the word notice. It gives me choices. The one on the left is the one that will go. The thing to know oh, here, wrong word, so I could circle it and change it. I could also strike through to delete, and then a caret to input. Uh, I need to delete that space, so I just do a little strike through in that space to delete it. Pre type, oh, I'm gonna. And now I need to maybe insert a, uh, a hyphen and then get rid of the space. Insert a period. And you'll notice that I was doing that with pre-typed text. So it doesn't just work with handwriting. You can have pre-typed text in there and then go in and use the text. And another thing that I wanted to change, so here this is spelled incorrectly, so I can circle that A, change it to an E. So that's another way that you can change 
letters in individual words instead of changing the whole word. As of now, these are the only marks that work for the editing. One thing that I find is when I pick up a pen, I'm used to just starting to write. So using this text tool, it's going to take a little getting used to. Here's what I like to do. Customizing the toolbar. If I'm going to use that text tool a lot, especially if I'm a language teacher, English, I'm going to come up here wherever you find the gear icon. Tap that. Here are the actions. So notice the left side and I can change those. But right now I'm looking specifically at the tools and I'm going to bring that text pen and I'm going to put it up here. Now if I put it here in the small section, it's going to be small. That's one option. If I think I'm going to be using it a lot, I might even put it somewhere where I have the whole line highlighted blue and make it a large button. And maybe I'll move this one to the end. There you go. When I'm finished, I do done. Now I have it there. So when I pick up a pen, just have to tap there and then select the color that I want. One less step of having to come through here. One thing that may help you change some habits is start using just one pen. I have one pen in my hand. Now I may want to get rid of things instead of putting the pen down and picking up the eraser. Get into the habit now of one pen. I can just tap the eraser, use the pen, erase the text, and it works the same way. You could do the circle circle and tap if you had a lot of stuff as well works the same way you can also choose a bigger one if you need to quickly right there and then select the pen that I want if I do just want a regular pen I can come in here and select it this way or quickly putting the pen down picking it back up it goes back to the default pen or if you have an 800 or a 600 M series with the pen colors you can just push the pen color button again to go back to the default pen. So that's one thing that will help. Customizing this toolbar and putting text pen up there. And then also get used to just using one pen and selecting your colors here and using that pen for the eraser. Even if you're going to draw a shape, just use the pen. Right? Use the pen for all your taps, everything. I don't know if they're in development now, but here's some things that we could ask for. And the way to ask for things is if you go to the help menu when you're in notebook, there is a submit feature request that's going to take you to a web page where you can fill in the form and then type in what you want to request. I know a lot of schools use the three lines underneath something to capitalize it. That, I think, would be a good one. Uh, a diagonal strike through, which would then change that from a capital to a small. But if these are the editing marks that we teach our students, I think it would be nice to have it work that way in the future. And notice it put it onto two lines just like I wrote it. And since it makes it smaller, if I want it then onto one line, if you double tap in the text box to get the insertion point, then the white dot you can drag to make your text box bigger. And if you do want it also bigger, you can drag the resize handle right there to make your text bigger. Check us out on the Google Plus community, Smart Board Revolution. We have a lot of people on there. You ask your questions, people will get answers pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of problem solving, a lot of collaboration there. Thanks for watching.